Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So this week I've been quite busy. I managed to get quite a lot of clips today because we had like a practical lesson with the animals and we were basically just cleaning out rats and dagoos, which actually was really interesting because I don't have experience with these animals, like these small pets. I've never owned them, never had the chance to work with them. So this was pretty cool. So last week we were doing a lot with the rabbits and guinea pigs, but it was really nice to be able to sort of interact with the rats and the dagoos, clean them out. We were doing spot cleaning today and also feeding. These are some of the other enclosures for the rabbits and guinea pigs. I thought I would just include this clip as well. And here's a little cute mouse. So basically, yeah, we got to do a lot today, such as changing their water, doing spot cleans, changing around their setup, keeping it interesting for them and you know a little bit of handling here and there as well so they're very different to how I expected them to be the rats were very very friendly and you know quite placid and tame and very interested in what you're doing and it was just really nice to be able to sort of see that side of them I feel like there is like a stereotype people can be a bit funny about rats but I just I think they're so lovely and I don't know I, I just think it was really nice to get to work with them especially as the last few rats we got to work with we were very very timid and it wasn't really good like a true representation of how friendly rats can actually be um, here is me feeding them and yeah I was just basically scatter feeding them and hand feeding them they were like so eager to take food from my hand which was so sweet and it was just a really fun little experience these guys were so friendly and cute um, so here I'm just scattering the food in their cage for them So yeah, we didn't really do like a full clean out with disinfecting and everything. We just basically took out the soiled areas, the bedding, and gave that a, a bit of a change, made it all nice and fresh for them, and rearranged their setup to provide better enrichment for them. You know, just keep their brains nice and interested in their surroundings, and you know, just make it so it's more enriching. Here are the Daegus. Now the Daegus are super crazy and they're just constantly like bursting full of energy. They're so adorable. They're such little characters and really, really funny. Kind of like big gerbils, I feel like, but maybe even more crazier. So we were just sweeping that out as well, giving it a bit of a change and all that stuff. So it was actually quite hard to do all this because they were just trying to escape constantly and when you're trying to clean them out and they're not in a carrier or anything it is quite crazy but a fun experience they're just the most cutest little things we were giving them some chinchilla sand as well because they obviously need like a like a sand bath to clean their coats in they absolutely loved that and yeah we just changed a few bits around added some cardboard boxes and fun things for them to chew on and stuff like that. Daegu here was so crazy so someone put like a blue paper towel through the cage and they just absolutely loved it you know it's just the simplest activities like that which they just absolutely love and they're just so entertaining and absolutely hilarious they're just such fun little pets and it was just really nice to work with them today here are the robos they had there's some people handling them here Here are the gerbils and a chinchilla which I found <laughs> just randomly and of course the guinea pigs. The one on the right I actually got to hold last week, he was so like fuzzy like a teddy guinea pig, so cute, really really adorable. You can tell that they just love simple toys like cardboard, just things like that to chew on. I thought I'd just include some random clips I got throughout the week as well. So here is when me and my friend were just trying on our uniform. <laughs> Get the logo in. My hair looks weird. My hair looks weird. We're just still here like fixing her hair. 
Yay. We also got to go around this nice little park place within the college. Lovely, lovely grounds, really nicely kept. And found these really cool like horse sort of made it. There were the, these horses made out of just logs and it was just amazing. Very, very detailed, realistic. It was just crazy. Hi guys, so today is Wednesday which is my day off again, so I'm actually going to head down to probably like student services or reception because my mum sent some stuff to the college right because I have an assignment due in on Friday and I'm going home on Thursday and I have to make a 3D model of an animal cell and I'm actually, well my mum like helped me out with this so we've done like a cake as the model and forgot completely to get some rolled icing stuff to draw like the parts of the cell not draw I don't know to basically make the parts of the cell on top so that's been sent here but I don't know if it's here yet so I'm gonna go check So I attempted to do the animal cell out of a cake and it was a bit of a disaster. It was going to be like more 3D, there was going to be like another bit on top, but it was just, I think it's a bit underdone maybe, but you can see it's just kind of like, it was just falling apart, so I didn't use that top bit. Oh my god, what have I done? So this is the animal cell, which does not look like an animal cell, I don't know what it looks like, but I'm going to go with it. Everyone uses one of these because it's like so much easier like why did i go for a cake i don't know but <laughs> it's done now we'll have to do i'm now going to be heading down to one of the cafes for some lunch the cake was an absolute fail the icing's too heavy so it's just collapsing i'm just gonna have to do something else like why is everything going wrong today why <laughs> it still looks fine on top it's just just don't look at the side Oh, maybe I should just get something to, to go around, it's a no one will ever know. I also thought I'd give you guys a little update on how the diffuser's going. If you don't know, I bought this in, like, maybe about last weekend, I think, and you guys saw me, you know, go out and get that from Neil's yard. I tested it out and it's so, so nice. It just makes my room smell lovely. It's really relaxing. Um, if you put, like, lavender oil in, I use, like, sage oil and chamomile and it's just really nice. I love all the colours as well. It's, like, really cool. So, really happy with that. Now, this is a bit random, but I also wanted to include a bit about being vegan at college because there is, like, some struggles I've had, but at the same time it's just been a good experience you know trying out different foods at different places because I've had the luxury this last year of just having all the food at home but it's nice to be able to go out and sort of 
try different vegan food and also make more stuff myself because I often relied on my mum to do that for me. So my the main way I've been coping is just stocking up my cupboards full of not even necessarily healthy stuff, just snacks that I can grab. So, you know, I always have something and don't feel like I have to restrict myself. So I've just been loving nut butters recently. They're like my favourite, especially cashew butter on toast. Just a really quick, simple meal. I've also been making quite a lot of green smoothies. These are just super quick to make. And, you know, it's just like a nice quick meal for like the morning for breakfast. So I've been loving my green smoothies. Also, I've been taking quite a few meals, such as like things my mum has been cooking at home. I've been taking them with me, keeping them in the fridge. And that's just a super quick way to have like a delicious meal. Now something I do want to point out is that I have been eating out a lot. I thought you guys would maybe find this interesting because it may seem like I can't eat out as a vegan but the I've had so many great meals here at Bishop Burton. So basically they have provided so many vegan meals. They always have a vegan option which I think is awesome. 